You know, we're here in special session, um, and from one listening to some of the discussion, one might believe that there's partisan nature to uh, any of the legislation we discussed today. The numbers prove otherwise. Senate Bill 138 was approved by this body 52 to 8. The bill today was approved by this body 16 to 3. Mr. President, I don't, I don't judge my friends by the letter next to their name. Um, in fact, I have many, many good friends and close relatives that have the other letter next to their name. But instead of us talking about water under the bridge and using scary words like eminent domain that's not expected to ever be used, let's talk about some of the hope of this project. I'm very supportive of this project. Folks on both sides of the aisle are very supportive of this project. I'm thinking about the jobs and lower cost energy, future revenue. We have joined the administration. We're supporting them in their efforts. We did it efficiently. We did it fairly. And we did it with our eye on the ball for maximum value for all Alaskans. We've also done it free of any consideration of the letter next to the names of our colleagues. And it's, it's interesting to me. I mean, some great things occurred with, with Senate Bill 138. We did. Without risk, we eliminated the potential of a GL liability. We, um, through the passage of Senate Bill 3001, we uh, were moving forward at a potentially dramatic reduction in interest rates. Um, but I guess the main thing that I want to get to here is, is sometimes we can focus on things that don't exist. And partisanship has not existed in this effort. We've done some so very well, very efficiently. I find it interesting that someone would oppose a resolution that essentially mirrors a bill that reflects the same philosophy, if you will. And I also find it somewhat fascinating that someone would choose to suggest that we extend the special session. We've done our work very efficiently. It's time to prove to Alaskans that we can do so, as we have in the last eight or nine days. We're willing to quickly get off of the expense of special session per diem, those sorts of things, go home to our families and start planning for the general session in January. But I, I hope the practice of statesmanship that separates letters from results um, can become more contagious in this building. Thank you, Mr. President.